visiting internets and welcome to this video where today I have an old vehicle I built. It's called Mr. Muscle. Or no, Mr. Pony. <laughs> Copyright. We don't want to break any laws here. So, if we turn those hazard lights off, we can get going and you'll see it is kind of a mess. At least compared to many vehicles me and other people have built since the game launched. This was a much earlier mod, by me at least. So, it is not as good as, say, that one in front of us, which is actually the updated version of it. Now, I wanted to get onto this because I had a comment on one of my videos saying they liked the design of one of my vehicles, but they found it looked a bit more like a pickup truck than a muscle car, and that's fine, because as I say, this was an earlier mod. I've done things perhaps that I wouldn't have done in later variants of the game. So if we look at this car, the roof now sits a lot lower. We have much wider, beefier tires on it. And it, I actually would say it drives a lot worse, but it looks so much cooler than that. This looks like a goofy project a seven year old would make. This looks like I've actually put some effort into it. It looks like I've actually you know, put a, a fair old amount of work into it, which I did. It is shorter as well. I did that by playing around with the axle. It's shorter on both the rear overhang and the place in where the rear seats are, which gives it more of a pony car look. Before, it was a bit more of a boat in terms of length, whereas now it's definitely got that pony car look to it. The Weir wheels on further forwards as well. But enough about this car. We do have to go around here once again to see another vehicle. This is a vehicle in specific that you were saying looks more like a truck. So again, I feel we could do the same kind of thing we've done with this. It wouldn't be too difficult to do. It's just that's what I'm making the video about, really. Can we evolve a vehicle? Yes we can, but what exactly does evolving a vehicle involve? So that is, I guess, why we're going to cover in this episode. Let's have a brief look at the interior here. No steering wheel. I hadn't worked that out back in the day. Yeah, nice interior here, but I could, again, do better than I did back then. It is quite a narrow car by my standards, although I have built a Migni actually, if I just get this out to show you. Or actually get the brand new smallest version of the Migni, with the pop-up drivers, which is J for them. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I learned how to build a car this tiny, so you know, progress in this kind of way. Okay then, for the sake of viewability, I'm going to start off with this vehicle way right back here by messing with the passenger compartment. It's not normally where I would start with a car. I normally start at the very back or the very front and I guess mess with the taillights and ruin all of them and then eventually ruin the middle section before fixing it all. But in this particular case, I don't want to do that, I just want to get this sorted. So, we can delete all these roof bits. There's no need to have that many anymore. We're talking limited part selection though, back when this game was launched, and then there's a lot more that's been added since the fact. So, also, look at these wear wheels. The reason it looked like a pickup truck was how far forwards the seats are from the wear wheels. This uh, section here, these two blocks we're talking, they can be cut out, basically, because they're not necessary. Although I will compromise structure somewhat, I can regain a little of that structure by just good engineering. Wow, I really over-engineered this. Looking back on it, looking back at the underneath all of this, there was no need to have all this much reinforcement underneath a car. I, it's just no one sees it, and for the most part you won't feel it. I guess if you're running over zombies it might help, but even so, even if you're running over zombies, is there a particular point behind it? That's also a kind of glitch, like that should have been wood. 
because you can see black behind it and it doesn't quite flow. Although it's such a tiny thing, I think I can pass it by for the time being. We can go, again, cut all this stuff out until we can move the seats back, although I should not have done that. That was one thing I shouldn't have deleted. Yes, I'm deleting all, perhaps the wrong bits, as you might say. Although it's working, so I can't really complain in that respect. We have another another bit to delete. And there we go. I've stripped a lot of the stuff out of the back here. So we just have to keep going. We can move the seats back one point now. Is that enough? I would say not. We can have those seats back even further. Although here we run into the problem. Unless I want to put like a Spitfire engine or a V12 or something in the front. There's no point in having the front being this long. So we have to shorten the chassis. The main integral chassis. Which I guess you could call a unibody. I don't know. It's probably closer to a Lotus... Uh, Esprit than anything the way it has a center pillow up here that supports everything and That is I don't know would you call it a ladder frame just a different ladder frame? I'm really lost for thought here So if we can cut some of these bits out we can have a shorter body and That's exactly what we want Although, I feel I've been stupid here, <laughs> yes. I may, I'm making stupid mistakes, as I do. So, they actually want to go forwards. Although, if we wanted to put a Spitfire engine in, or a V12, or whatever, as I say, longitudinally, of course, this looks like it's mounted transversely, we would go and mount that longitudinally there, and there would be enough space for it, because we would move the interior back. I don't want to do that, I just want to shorten the car, so is there a way of moving the front forwards and moving the back forwards after that, I wonder? That would be interesting, because it's already got a transverse mounted engine, so I guess we can't really call it a muscle car at this stage, although there were quite a few American cars in the 70s that were front wheel drive because it was considered cutting edge and all that. We have a lone brick hanging out there, which looks like it has a reason for being such. So, what do we have here? They can go. These can shuffle forwards. Nice. And then we'll have a shorter bonnet, but believe me, it will all make sense soon enough. We'll go this way. <laughs> do, do, do. Now, so, sorry about this white noise, as you might call it. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. Ah, no! We don't want to completely lose the engine. It's not going anywhere if we don't have an engine, let alone going anywhere fast. That is not a good start. So... Here, it looks like we have enough space to move the dashboard forwards. Have we got anything on it? Though, ah, so we could turn this structural. The way we could do this is by having a redirector that sits just on top of this here. We can make it in the wood so it matches if we decide to match the grill up, which we will because, well, we're moving the interior forwards, so we'll include moving that wood forwards. And this wood, and this wood, and the rear seats, and the floor plates, for lack of a better term. They just make it black and they kind of hide the chrome on the interior where you don't want the chrome to be. We have now more structural elements here. It's about, a lot of that is, is about <laughs> integrating structural components. If you don't do that, well the car will soon fall into dismay and it might um, fall apart more easily. We don't want it to fall apart, we want our car to be solid. 
Another thing you can do, we're not going to do it right now on this particular vehicle, but you can mount a lot of tongue sign or a lot of gold low down as those are very heavy materials. It, I think, does improve handling slightly. There's no major difference, but it does have a slight improvement. We can also hopefully add bits. So delete, delete. Actually, I wonder... Hmm, nah, it's not going to work. It was just a dream. Just a futile dream of mine. We'll go duplicate you. And that gives us an already much tighter interior. Like, look at that. It's got so much space. I could add a third row of seats even. I have space for that. They would be a little cramped. But hey, I could do it if I desperately wanted to. Not that I'm building a limousine, though. I'm building a everyday muscle car. Or perhaps more pony car if it ends up incredibly short when it's done. Although it's transverse, so I don't know if you would even call it that. We'll go and add perhaps one or two bits where I find them necessary. Hmm. How would this work? So, if we wanted to have uh, a dashboard, I would mess it up by doing it this way. No, I'm not going to do that. Just, just thoughts in my head, you know. I have to think of exactly which part to use to get it just right. This, we, if we change the colour to wood, I think I have a plan. Although I don't want to use oak. I've used oak in a lot of vehicles. I actually want to change the colour to something. So all these bits will be changed. Could we go with... Uh, it's not corrugated. It's traction plate. That's it. I remember the old full size in beam. Once, her, once I used that with green traction plate. It actually looked pretty good. So, you know... My reasons will make sense eventually as to why I'm doing this. We'll go add some more green traction plates. And do we want it everywhere? No, we don't. We only want... Oh, I'm being so stupid right now. Right, so I think I'll go with standard black plastic, actually. I mean, we're completely renovating the vehicle. As you saw last time, though, the vehicle changed so much. It was virtually a different car by the time I'd finished with it. So, you know, don't go expecting things to stay the same because they simply won't. If we go and find cylinders, we should be able to find one of these as well. Oh, dear. That is so out of proportion. It just doesn't work at all. How about this? I'm probably going to hate myself for doing things this way, but I'm kind of desperate now to fit some kind of steering wheel. Again, whenever we want to test it, oh dear, it's not saved. Not saved properly, at least. So I'm going to call it the Sport Project. One, For lack of a better name, it's just what I can come up with at the moment. When it's on the workshop, it'll probably be change. <laughs> As I said, compromising chassis stiffness. Those side panels mount to nothing. I ultimately wanted to see if the steering wheel was in an appropriate location. By the looks of it, it may be, but not that I'm going to notice that. Because they are not solidly mounted to anything oh dear and they don't seem to line up hmm I'm, I'm so lost right now either way can we duplicate these and eventually find the point at which I need hmm so, actually, yeah. If if I find, if I find this, I think I know where I've gone. 
You can go and rotate there. Oh no, I messed up so bad. Help, somebody. Right, I found a way. I just have to hope no one sees it because it kind of takes up all the footwell. There's nothing else I can do at this stage. I had a look into it and it's just how it's lined up with everything. Hmm, is that... Ah, so I see. That's how it is then. We have to add another piece on the end just to top it all off. Nice attention to detail, I find. Although, I don't know if anyone really appreciates it. And we can duplicate that. We can have the green trim with traction plate all along here. And traction plate along with some grey plastic or black plastic. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll go with grey plastic. I'm not really bothered about making this premium. In fact, I'm doing the exact opposite now because... It's supposed to be smaller and simpler. That's the route we're going down, because I say so. So, <laughs> grey. Oh dear. You can use the uh, modular bricks now and just make a long extended piece instead of using two of these, but I can't be bothered with that. Someday I might change it, but today I can't see the need. It'll hold together for the time being. We'll have some black plastics. Black plastics everywhere. Because I'm cheap. And our users don't get any better than that. We'll go... See what else. Ah, so we have the engine right there. I would say move a dashboard for it. I don't want to do that. Even if I could... I wouldn't want to move a dashboard anymore forwards. The parts we've got here, they can be the mounting for the dashboard. So it's, it's not going to be a perfect interior by any stretch of the imagination. But I'll be able to get, I think, enough of a benefit, would you say, from my work to make it worthwhile doing such. Can we actually... Just place another one by four here. And if we get the other bits, duplicate these. We can maybe work something out here. So you can't see white through to the wheels. Duplicate. Unless I'm doing it this way. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm doing by this point. It's just blind luck and hope, I think. <laughs> blind luck and hope. They do fail me sometimes, but at other times they work. And I guess that's what I'm pinning my hopes on. Come on, traction plate, where are you? You will be a point of traction. Duplicate. And just have more black behind it. But plastic this time. Hmm. Just look at that though. Now we've got a neat little dashboard. With a... Perhaps too far kind of ordeal going on. On the green. And... Redirectors. Come on. I thought my game had crashed there. That scared me for a moment. And we go with green. And do, 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 do. So, where is it? Traction plate. You must come on, Flarge. Did I invent a word? Possibly. Now we have to delete that because it just interferes. And delete that as well. Because they're interfering with my dashboard. Oh dear. First world problems, indeed. Green and plastic. There we go. No, it has to be grey plastic even. To match the interior. And that contrasts with that. 
as it would. Either way, now we can see if a steering wheel matches. Let's hope it does. And of course, I'm in the wrong seat. Right. Yeah, it seems to line up with his arms quite well. Not perfect, but it's close enough to keep me happy. And it hold, the vehicle in general just about holds together. It is not sturdy though. And thankfully the side rail thingies are going to help with that. However, we do need to buy them first. I mean, we can't work with the material we haven't bought. How about a 1x5? How short or long is that? Nope. We need a... Well, we need what looks like a 1x7. Or 2x7, rather. We could go with chrome. Could go with chrome, but I'm thinking of going for more of a grey plastic aesthetic here than just outright chrome. Whereas I was going for that before. Because as much as I like the chrome, not every era of vehicle has chrome. If we're trying to build a 70s car that's cheap, it may not have chrome. Or if we're trying to build a 90s car, well, it would probably do away with a lot of the chrome just because you can save so much money by doing such. We'll go plastic. And then again, plastic. We'll go grey. Behind the dash, the back of the dashboard is black plastic, but I don't think I'm too bothered about that. I prefer to have the black, but I don't know. Hmm. I guess it matches the other vents if it's grey. So as a continuity thing, I will do it this way. But only because it matches the other vents. So grey, grey. There we go. We have a car of sorts. <laughs> and you will really naturally, I don't know, I'm inventing words as I go today. You will really naturally see a rear axle here that is far, far away from the rear axle we knew and loved back in the day. So that is, I believe... One, that is a one by something, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a one by eight. We can go with a ten by one, if that would work, or a twelve by one. You know what, I'm feeling brave, so let's go with a twelve by one. Which must be about there, let's say. I'm, I'm hoping I've lined it up correctly. The front end is largely unmodified. I have to lower the engine somehow, I feel. I like to have a more sleek bonnet on my cars. And it just had an unnerving lump here, which I did not like. So, that's something which has to go. The seats are mounted low in the chassis, and so they should be, which is fine. All well and good. And... I don't know what to make of this. We can delete a lot of these wear elements because they're just not necessary. So, we can also delete these. What do we have now? We have a front and we have a wear. If we move these right forwards though, like that, this car is going to be so short. It's going to be... Incredibly, incredibly sure then, if, if I get my way. And actually, no, I've just realised I've done this completely wrong and I needed the fivers, not the sixers, so... Yeah. When things don't go to plan, it's quite annoying. You have to learn to deal with this. Again, it's just part of a car designer's job, I guess. Don't mess up. Although, I'm a terrible car designer because I'm always messing up. I guess at least I learn from my mistakes and come up with a better solution. I guess that's something you can take away that's positive from it. If so, you like the positive endings. We can go, I think, and add a scalable, actually. A scalable should be a pretty good solution to just mounting things here in the passenger compartment. We can go and add a... 
uh, black thingy here so it merges with that and you don't really notice the contrast although it's not going to matter because if you see what I'm doing here I'm going to make this I'm going to make this uh, too tall again just hope the owner of a car doesn't notice <laughs> that somehow there's so many design flaws here make it black because that magically makes it less noticeable in my head I mean, I have to mount this stuff somewhere, and if I'm moving the back wheels to be there, where is it going to get mounted? I don't know. Hmm, so... We have a bunch of stuff here as well. All of this can be changed later, if it should have to be. And can we... Can we change the, I would say track, but it's obviously not track rip. Mm, it's probably best not to mess with it. Strange as that might sound, coming from me, the messer upper of all things, it's probably best. We have another five here that we need to do. Can you go there? Yes, you can. And green. Green! <laughs> I just felt like saying green instead of green. It's the happier alternative to green. And we can have... We can add some other trim. Perhaps add some grey plastic reaching across here. And then above that grey plastic or below it even, we could have something else, like green trim, that will kind of bring the whole design into perspective, I believe. Well, the outside of a car is green, I've just realised that. It's taken me this long, okay? I'm slow, please realise. Please don't hurt me for my slowness. I have quite a slow -itude to myself today, instead of attitude, and you go there, we can bring this round to here, there we are, we need some final tips to finish this off. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to comparing the length of this to the car that it's derived from. Because it will be so fascinating. At least I believe. To see the change. Part of the reason I do it, I just enjoy seeing the change so much of how these things have been. And to be honest, I think they would look better in grey by this stage. So much of a car is grey on the interior. It just matches up. A bit better. There we go. And... Do I want those lower ones in grey as well? Yes, I do. Hmm. I could have just used one piece instead of two each there. But at this stage, again, I can't be bothered changing it. It'll take more time and it'll waste time. It's not going to be the perfect build, but it'll do the job for that. We have... Anything else that needs to be done? Yes, we have, we have to delete a lot of these pieces. A lot of these higher up driveline, is it? Would you call it driveline pieces? I don't know. So they, they stop there for the rear axle, which also stops there. And where, where were the rear wheels attached to? Oh. Ah, I deleted it. I would say that's quite a problem, but I think I can work with it. They have different widths, but I think I can work with it. This is going to be a stupid idea. Ooh, no, that's not going to work. Hmm. It's going to interfere, though. If I try and bring that axle directly back here, it's going to just interfere with 
the part that's already there. And we do we do have some bits that we can mess with, but I want to keep the central column strong. So I'm guessing, ridiculous as it sounds, we're going with independent suspension. This thing is becoming more European by the minute. <laughs> it started off looking, I mean, stu it looked stupid, but at least reasonably American. Now it's just going to be so European. It'll be short wheelbase, compact uh, performance, essentially. And um, not, not what I was going for initially at all when I made the first video. We can go and add some bits to it. <laughs> we redirectors. I thought it said rejectors for a moment. All they do is just sit around rejecting people. No, you don't fit into our stereotypes. You can't be in our friend group. So we can have we can have an aerial mounted system, for lack of some better term. And do we want that? No, I think we want a scalable here. I think a scalable may be a little better for strength. So we're going to go with a scalable. We'll go... Increase the width to 2... No, 4. And increase the length to 3. There we go. So that will enable me to mount pieces below and above it. And then we can mount a little piece back here. That will just tie the whole thing together. I don't think it needs to be too specific. Now, if I could find how much between them there needs to be. Is that, is, is it just that? Yes, it is. So, if we could, if we could do something, actually... I could get another scalable because that would tie it up quite nicely between them. I could get another scalable or I could just get a standard brick and use that. It doesn't really matter. Because either way, I am going to get the, the, the pieces I want. I almost said pieces and parts at the same time. That would be a strange thing. We'll go another one of these. I'm using more than more of these than I was perhaps expecting to, but they're doing a job, so I can't complain. And beige to match that bit that were there. And actually, no, I don't think I need to match it. It's only beige because the interior was beige. They should be grey now, then. And we can add the, wherever, what's me doodars are that the wheels mount to. They're called axles. Someday I'll get it, okay? Someday I'll get it, but until that day comes, we can't think about it too much. It is driven, we don't want that. I don't think we need that one to be inverted. And it has a brake and a handbrake. I think we want to invert this one, but it's not driven. I don't know. I, I guess they're not driven, so it doesn't matter if they're inverted or not. But it's one of those little things I obsess over. So, such is life. It's maybe in, maybe in requirement of bigger wheels, if that makes sense. We need... We don't need the monoliths, is it? We don't need those, whatever they are. Hmm. I could go with some sportier wheels. I, don't, I honestly don't know what to do right now about the wheels. I'll change them a bit later. It looks, it looks strange. Pudgy is probably the term I would apply to it. But look at how much shorter it's got. And it still seats the same number of people. That is craziness. Anyway... Speaking of seating the same number of people, it does need to do such a thing as seating people. We have to mount a... We'll also have to mount the chrome somewhere. I think that's fine though. I'll just use a scalable piece and then it won't be too much issue mounting it. Because it'll mount just on these front pieces of the car. 
and then on the rear pieces of the car. So there will be enough support for that, even if there isn't a lot of support available. We'll have some. We'll have duplicates of these as well. To make that a more solid connection, let's say. Just look at this. It, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, honestly. Where can I mount stuff? Can I mount stuff at all? I think I know one mounting point. It's kind of a sneaky way of doing things, but hey, who cares? It works. Redirector. We have a grey chassis made of plastic. I bet that's not something you were expecting in this video. For a muscle car. <laughs> ah dear. Right. We can have on top of that another 4x1. Is that enough? Maybe. If Maybe actually... <laughs> Maybe actually a good film. No. I made that up. And delete you. We need to go and add 4x2. We need to go and add some more. Do dad. Do many. Do many. Do many dabs. I come up with ridiculous terms. I really do. You can play the place of the villain. This piece can. Do many dabs. You can go. Do many dabs sounds like some ridiculous children's show. And duplicate you. So there we go. We've got. We're going to have kind of a double mount. This will make sense in a very, very short period of time as I mount this here. Okay, so. For whatever reason. It didn't want to go where I was thinking it was going. It worked anyway. That's the important thing. Duplicate you. Oh. Wait, so we need two here. No, we're on to two. So it doesn't go into the interior. Hmm. I'm just thinking, have I been stupid? No, I haven't. It does go like that. I was trying to mount that too low, though, which wasn't a particularly good move on my behalf. We can have maybe some other bits. No. I'm trying to think how I'm going to get this working with multiple thingies and... The only way I can think is this. This is how I'm going to get a stiff, solid mounting point for what I'm trying to do. Again, go with the scalables. Scalables are very good for this particular purpose, where you just want some structural beams or whatnot. As I was saying, I'm going to use them for the chrome strips as well. <laughs> Spoiler alert. As they say, seven... Three there. And that. That will give me somewhere, won't it? Surely it should. Oh. That's my stupidity. I mounted a six there instead of a seven. Hmm. Is that correct, even? Oh, right, it is. So, we're going to have the chrome strips now as well. They're going to be these. In the natural sense, what else would they be?
We'll go... 14s. It's not chrome at the moment. It probably will never be chrome, <laughs> to be entirely honest, with how this car's going, but... It's something that we can bear, I guess. We have then got the other bits to deal with. Ah, we've got a, we've got a lot of rear end bits, haven't we here? So I can just move these or duplicate these, whichever I choose, really. The this one needs to be deleted. No point in having it even. And you can go there, so we can move him down here. You need to be green. You need to be green. Brick duplicate. And then we move him down as well. So, here it is. So far, this is the car that everybody's not talking about. No, this is a car with bits that need finishing on it. I'm thinking if we go and add some lights, we could add kind of a thin brake light on top. I quite like these when I add them, or when I have added them in the past. Well, actually, no, it's probably better as a tail light now, now I think about it. So we'll duplicate this. Duplicate this. I can get a five. I don't need to use a scalable to make it that long. This can go here. Or oh, actually, no. I think I do want a scalable. Duplicate this. So we'll go with a five by four. Come on, 5x4. No, I want a 5x4. There we go. It's eventually done it. And grey. We could have like a two-tone. That might look good on it. If we go with a two-tone colour scheme. I think I'll give it a bit more green there. Green there as well. And as I was saying... I've, I did like this design when I've used it before. Or well, this kind of design, rather. It's probably a better way of putting it. And we can go lights. Again, can go with red. Uh, could have a braking light as well in the middle. But now, nah, I think I'll just have tail lights. Because that will then go above the rear bumper, which takes me all the way to the ground. Well, almost all the way to the ground. I was sure it took me all the way to the ground. I feel conned. I feel scammed. Well, anyway, we can go add some other bits of a bumper. I No, that's not quite right. Why did I delete that? It, just, it looked it looked like it wanted to be deleted. That's my excuse. Now, it, it didn't look like it wanted to be deleted there. I just realised what I was needing to do to get the bumper on successfully. So, we actually have to round, mount some of these. Because it's not a 8 wide vehicle. It's 7 wide, as you've probably realised by now. And that throws up the odd challenge in trying to get... The mounting pieces to be working with me. Redirectors, no. I could use a redirector, but I don't want to right now. We can go add six, seven, and three, two. There we go. So green. Now, what are we going to do about fitting something below that? I think I know, actually. If I mount something down here, so thus 
mount that, say. And then somehow, I'm not exactly sure how, mount something there on the edges. Could be set. I think my only method at the moment is to just add something above it and hang things down like you do. So if we go five, that wouldn't work. Oh no, it wouldn't work, would it? Because it has to be of a certain width. Yeah, I'm using a different width measurement. Oh dear. I'm in a right kerfluffle. That's all I can really bring myself to. It's, it's a kerfuffle. I think also, selection, I would feel happier if this just disappeared. Because it's no use to the car's purpose. So, I would just waste space having that hanging around there. Um, every count is quite low. I'm surprised how low the brick count is. Can we have a... Um, do dad. Do we, we need another do many dad. We need another do many dad coming. So... I'm just saying ridiculous things now. Trying to think while I'm recording. And frying things that shouldn't be fried. Too many fish to fry, as I say, I guess. We have another point. Oh, actually, you know, I'll go with a scalable because it's flat. Thus, it's not likely to protrude out the top of the green thing as it goes back in. They've almost got a weird diffuser. It's vaguely sporty. Now, again, we can do the same thing, perhaps, with this at the top. There we go. It's not perfect. It's like a weird concept car that doesn't make any sense at all. There's more front overhang than there is rear overhang. I mean, that'll need to be fixed, but that's all just design. As you saw, what I did with the rear. It's just doing the same with the front and eventually settling on a design that works. So we can have a exhaust system as well. These, I guess, can be stainless steel or something. Some fancy material. And can we find stainless steel? Stainless steel, where are you? Brushed aluminium, that'll do. And we can add, perhaps, other bits. So have we got a reverse light? No. I'll add that with that as a reversing light then. And I'll add some of these as brake lights. Brake light. Brake light. Keep it sleek. And then maybe we could have some indicators. I don't know where though. Actually. I think I do know where. If we go and lights, there should be lights just here. There we go. That's perfect for indicators, I think. So, indicators. Come on. Beacon, even. As that's the closest you can get. Get them orange so they're white and place them in place. There we go. Now, what are we going to do about the windows, eh? I don't know what to do. And when I don't know what to do, I explode. Not quite. I'm not that... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm thankfully not that aggressive, but... I do... get lost in my thoughts when I don't know what to do. Come on. Are you the correct piece? Yes, you are. Away, I did something right for a change. Then we can have a fiver here. Or actually, no. We could have a smooth fiver. 
because the way the piece is mounted, I'm going to use, it will be just fine that way. And can we get this working to my favour? I hope so. We can have maybe a lower engine. Do do do. Oh. Wait, like, I'm going to just glitch this through now. Because as much as as much as I don't really like glitching things through, if it makes a car work better, so I will do it uh, without really a second thought. The other, the other problem that was in the way, I guess, was this. Although by the looks of it, I can easily solve that problem. I can easily solve it by just having some of these. So we had a... We had a different unit really doing the exact same job. Hmm. Delete you. And that gives us some things to use. We can use a scalable. You'll see I'm using one specific scalable. It's not that I like these, it's just they do a better job. And the others can't quite compete in terms of doing that job. Not in this case. So, there we go. Colour-wise, it's a bit of a mess. Just in overall, size-wise, it's a bit of a mess. But it's a lot smaller. And you'll see the compactification has worked as a compactification. And <laughs> I've had a crazy idea. Nah, I won't go ahead with it. I was thinking of making, like, a huge glass cone as a roof. But it just wouldn't work. Although, we do get to use the scalable ramps now. Uh, why might we use these? Well, I used them back here as well, but why might we be using them on top? Well, that will become clear in just a moment if you keep watching. <laughs> but at the moment everyone clicks away. Yeah, I'm terrible at clickbaiting. So... No, I want this one, I think. So G to move it up. There we have a plastic block blocking where your visibility is. But we will make it glass, and then it will make sense. And duplicate you. There we go. So we've got three overhang on the rear and more than that on the front. So now there is more front overhang. It looks a lot more like a car. We can also ha had, no, hopefully add the... Size, no, we can hopefully add some other bits. So if we, if we go in down to about five by two, I think we can add. That will give us some windows for our car. And we'll go, do, 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 add some of these. Duplicate that, add 5 by 1, but we are going to make that grey, plastic, that will give us our pillars, and we need a roof, so, to be honest, I don't think we need a scalable here, no, I think we need a, oh no, we do, because it's by 7, it's not a conventional form. If it was a conventional 6x6, 6x8, it would be fine. But in a by 7 it's not going to work. Also, we've got a by 5 It's like 7x5. It's a very unconventional form for the roof's dimensions. There we go. It looks a little better with a roof, I find. It looks strange, but it looks like a car, at least. So, I think we can give it a drive. Oh. Oh dear. So, <laughs> you're going to say something seriously wrong with this car if it just goes like that. So, we can try our indicators. They're not quite done. They're not flashing, but it's close enough to keep me happy. 
the front will all work. The front is unchanged, so the front's all going to work the same as it ever did. I'm in the passenger seat driving somehow. <laughs> I guess you could call me a backseat driver, but it's not the back seat, so yeah, it would be kind of a term that would make sense. We have very tall, very stiff suspension for some reason, and I'm, I'm reasonably pleased with it. If only it could sit a little lower. Other than that, it's majorly improved, I think, over what it was before, just due to the length. It's kind of a standard sedan, though. It's not really a muscle car, but hey, it's less of a pickup truck, and I guess that can be seen upon as a improvement. So with nothing left better to do, I guess we can speed up in this, in its unchanged V6. Turn the lights on, it's a bit dark. And give it a good old crash into the train tracks. See how it survives. Will a tall suspension help it? No. Other than the wheel falling off, that is fairly rugged. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. It's probably trailed on for long enough now. So I'm going to say goodbye until another day.